All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video in the series we're currently making where we're trying to make a action co-op combat game or whatever you want to call it in Unreal Engine 5. So we are now working on the NPCs. In the last episode we set up this function for the NPCs to actually find our players. You can see when we enter the range, he enemy confirms that I am very much the closest player this one so let's make the enemy actually use that information so in our master NPC we now have this function where we can find the closest player So, I don't think I can actually use this in function, can I? Cannot. Uh, as you can see that this is... I believe an asynchronous task? No? Anyway, we can't call this in... Uh, function so we need a custom event We're gonna have this in the behavior graph server move to location no move to Actor. I'm gonna call AI move to. Self. Target actor. Maybe 50 as. Yes. That's fine. And inside the utility tick with server to actor. This doesn't really matter because we're already on the server, but still. Gonna move to the closest player. Uh, but for that to work, we need a nav mesh. So we're gonna search for nav mesh bounce volume. Extend it here. Press P, see the nav mesh, and this is the actual area that the enemy can walk on. Let's see if this works. Does not work. And maybe it's because I need actual. I need a control sure if it's in there by default or not. It is. Thank you. 
All right, I played around a little bit and seems I was correct in the last video. There probably was a reason why I didn't do the why I don't do this pawn uh, the player state thing. So because if I do it didn't work with this target actor, but if I do this, uh, just get all actors of class and find a player works. So the pawn thingy that is built into the engine it's not like me, so let's not do that. Let's do my original plan. Uh, so from here we're gonna go get all the characters. Uh, and I go back to the BPI. Let's get all player characters. Gonna return on a. Oh. Let's do. Let's make it actors too, instead of characters. So actor. And this could then be filled with. Uh, like, uh, whatever. I don't know. Other stuff than player characters. All player characters. Hmm. Let's make this. Actually, we want player characters here. Let's make this as a character. Characters, because we could do other functions for actors if we have. Maybe in the future we want players to be able to spawn a turret. That's technically not a character, but then we can just use another ray for like targetable actors or whatever. So let's do this for now at least. Oh. And now we can instantly grab that one. This goes here. And this is Paul. Ah, okay, yeah, this is probably the issue actually. I was this was the wrong variable. Oops, sorry. Anyway, let's do it like a character now. Here. It's funny, those silly mistakes. I've done this a thousand times, yet every time I do it, it still causes me issue. Notes. And there we go. And now server me to actor. Can delete this. Like the target actor, like the location. I just want to see. Make sure that both of them are plugged in there just to eliminate that as a possible cause of issue. And it's still not working. That's interesting. I know it's not working. Uh, because in the GS Master, we need to actually plug this one in here. There we go. Now he's chasing us. Perfect. And let's see if we can skip the location. Yes, and let's see if it works in multiplayer.
and it seems to be working. And if I now run close to this guy, he should stay there. Yeah, because now this is the closest one, so now it's chasing this one instead. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> that took me an awkwardly long time to fix uh, for such a simple thing. in the behavior graph and from here we can then trigger different stuff uh, depending on what state we're in and things like that and the same with the tick utility tick uh, like depending on what our stuff is we want to do we can trigger different actions here so this is basically instead so we're not going to use behavior trees because I don't like them and uh, I also saw an article from Tom Luman a while ago about utility AI and took some inspiration from that and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, so yeah that's gonna be it for this one because I'm tired and it took me too long to fix that so I'll keep recording in a while and see you in the next one. Bye!